everyone, Abby here, and welcome back to my channel for Tech Tuesday, or welcome if you're new. Now today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to put music on a Garmin watch. But before I get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed so you can stay tuned to all my new videos dropping weekly and so you can help the channel grow. So I have with me the Garmin Venue 2S here, which I'm going to show you how to put music on here. But the process I'm showing you today will work on I think every single Garmin watch out there that is music compatible. I have a bunch of them listed on screen for you guys right here. So if you wanna add music on here, you can choose to use a music app provider such as Spotify, Amazon Music, or Deezer. I'm gonna be showing you how to add music using Spotify because that's the one that I personally have. And you do need a Spotify premium account to add music. The free account does not let you download music on here. And in addition to that, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add your own MP3 files on this smartwatch. So to add music using a Spotify account, you are going to need your smartphone with you and you're going to need your watch, obviously. So make sure that the Bluetooth is on both of your devices and you're gonna wanna make sure that your watch is already connected to your smartphone. So make sure that the Bluetooth is on both of your devices. I've gone ahead and deleted all the music on here just to show you guys how to do things from step one. So if you do not already have the Spotify app on your watch because some Garmin watches come with it pre-installed, some do not. You're going to need to go ahead and open up the Garmin Connect IQ app or, or download that app if you don't have it. And from here, you can go ahead and download the Spotify app. So you can just go to search and it's actually the first one right there. So if not, you can type it in, but there's Spotify and you can go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, head back to the Garmin app and on your watch, you are going to go to the music area. So depending on the watch you're using, if it's touchscreen, button operated, combination of both, just do what you gotta do, open up your settings and get to the music section. So here we can see it says music providers. You're gonna click on that. And depending on which apps you have here, you're going to see them all. I do have Spotify. So I'm gonna click on that. And now it says open Garmin Connect on your phone and log into Spotify. So you can see as soon as I did that here, it opened it up on my phone. And now I'm gonna go ahead and log into my Spotify app here. And once you log in, you're going to read the terms and conditions. Are you giving your watch access to use your Spotify account and download music? So you can read through all of that. Once you are done, you gotta click agree to continue. Coming back to your watch, you're going to now see it says get started. So you can tap on that and you can click on add music and podcasts. You can go ahead and download any Spotify playlist that you already have made on your Spotify account or your podcast if you have those too. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and download my classical music playlist of 21 songs. Now it's gonna download this through your Wi-Fi connection. So it is best to have your smartwatch as close to your router as possible that will download it the fastest. So if you're able to, I would just plug it into charge and I would stick it right beside your modem so it can download the music fast as possible. And if you guys are finding this video helpful so far, please go ahead and smash that like button for me. I'd really appreciate it. So you guys can see right now, it gives you a percentage. It's kind of a countdown from one to 100%. Once it's at 100%, you are good to go and your music is going to be downloaded on here. Now, depending on the smartwatch you do have, it can take a couple of minutes to maybe even an hour or so to download some music and playlists. That really depends on your Wi-Fi connection and speed and the smartwatch you do have because some of them do have faster and then some have slower Wi-Fi connections. And once you do have your music downloaded on here, if you go ahead at a later date and you add different songs to that playlist, every time you plug in your smartwatch to charge, it will sync every time that charges and update the playlist accordingly. All right, so I got a message, music sync complete. So the music is now on here. And from this point, you can go ahead and download more playlist if you wanted to. Now to access your music, if you wanted to listen to it, you're gonna go back to the settings here the music, and then you are going to go to music providers. I'm gonna click on Spotify. And then I'm going to click on the playlist here. And it's trying to connect to my headphones, which are not on right now, but it would connect to my headphones basically. And then you can just start listening to your music. And once your music is playing, you can go ahead and skip or go back. You can pause and play your songs. You can also kind of turn up and down the volume. You can repeat, 
You can shuffle play all of that stuff on here. And keep in mind, this is music that's downloaded directly to your smartwatch here. You do not need your phone to listen to music. Once it's downloaded, you're good to go. All you need is your Bluetooth headphones. All right, guys, so now I'm gonna show you how to add music onto your smartwatch using MP3 files. So to do that, you are going to need a computer. And two, you're going to need your Garmin, you know, charging cord. And all right, guys, if you're someone who's still like me and you got, you know, old MP3 files kicking around <laughs> or you have access to MP3 files, then this will be very helpful for you. If it's on your phone, you can't just connect your watch to your phone. You have to get those files onto your computer to be able to do this next step. So let's get started. All right, guys, so for this step, you're gonna need to download a app to do this. And this is called the Garmin Express. And I've gone ahead and linked in the description below for you, the website here for both Windows and Mac computers. So go ahead and download that. Open it up. So make sure that, you know, read the terms and conditions if you really want to <laughs> and install. So while that's installing, if you don't already have your charging cord, make sure you go grab it because you're gonna need to plug this into your computer for the next step. So here it's popped up saying that I need some additional features that I gotta download to use this app. So I'm gonna go ahead and accept that or you can skip it, but it says if you skip it, the app might not work correctly. Now for this, like purposes of showing you guys all of this, I uninstalled everything, like all of my music apps so I can show you guys from scratch. That's why it's taken a little bit of time because I have to, you know, reinstall everything and show you for the first time. All right guys, now let's go ahead and launch the Garmin Express app. One thing I wanted to mention is that the app is pretty small, like you don't have a way to expand it. So that's something to keep in mind. You might wanna like zoom in on your computer if you really need to see it bigger. And you are going to add a device. So at this point, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna plug this into your computer. Once it is plugged in, your smartwatch is gonna look something like this. So you're gonna see this and you're gonna know you're connected. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on add device on the app and it's going to search for your smartwatch. Here we can see it's pulling up my Venue 2S and click on add device. At this point, you're gonna to have to either create an account or log in to your Garmin account. I'm going to go ahead and sign in because I already have one. And because I have more than one smartwatch, it's asking me, do I wanna make this my primary wearable? And I will just say, yes, why not? but it most likely will not ask you that if that's just your one device. So here you can go ahead and you can change this if you need to, you can change the language as well as uh, your wrist. So from here, you can go ahead and add your Wi-Fi network if it's not already added to your smartwatch here. Mine is already connected. And now it's going to finish setting up your device with the app. All right guys, so from here, you can just go ahead and click on the music button. Now, if you have music on your computer, whether it's playlists, songs, whatever, you can go to the different sections. For me, I do have songs on here. The songs I have on here, I'm just gonna show you guys an example. And if you wanted to add a bunch of music, you can just select all of the ones you want. You could even click this to add everything. We can go with ambient space piano. So we can go ahead and click on whatever songs you wanna add. You can select them all, and then you can click on send to device. And it's gonna give you a time quote of how long it's gonna take. It took a couple seconds there. So now when you click on your device down here, you can see the music added. So now you can go ahead and disconnect your smartwatch here. And when you do so, it prompts you usually for any updates if you have any available. I'm just gonna bypass that for the moment and open up your music in the settings. And now when you click on my music, you can see the songs added that you downloaded or the playlists. And if you wanted to, you can just go ahead and play them using your Bluetooth headphones. That is it. And if you were able to do this successfully following my steps, please go ahead and like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Once again, this works on virtually every single Garmin watch that is music compatible. And if you did want to add music using your Amazon Music or your Deezer account, it works almost identically to a Spotify account, except for you're going to be logging into those respective apps. But I'm showing you Spotify because that's what I have. I don't have the other accounts right now. Once again, I've shown you the Garmin Venue 2S here for this example. If you do want to learn more about this smartwatch, I've done a full review, which you can find linked in the description below. And if you do want to pick up this smartwatch, I have a link in the description for you as well. If there's anything I missed today that you want to know, just go ahead and drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.